Hey, just doing a quick video about the Tetra APS-150 air pump. I've had this up and running for a couple of days now and I feel that uh, it would be handy for some of you guys that may be thinking about buying an air pump for your aquarium. Now I've got this running in a 125 litre tank and I've got it installed with a 60 centimetre bubble wall and I've got to say I think it looks really impressive. I'm really pleased with it. Um, a couple of things that is worth mentioning if you've not got an air pump already is that it really improves the quality of the water inside the tank. Um, everything just seems so much clearer and you know the fish seem to really like having it there. Um, it took me a couple of weeks to get one because I didn't necessarily need one due to the filter that I've got but I've added one just for the fish's benefit and I think it looks stunning now. Um, so, a couple of things that's worth mentioning. On the box it does say this is a silent aquarium air pump. Well, I've got it over here. And I'm sure you can hear that hum. It's not silent at all, but I don't think it's possible to get one that's silent. Um, a few things that's worth noting about it is originally I wanted to install it around the back of the tank just over here and the echo from the, the buzz just amplified it, it was unbearable. So it's now sitting over here on the windowsill where it is not noticeable at all if you're, you know, watching the television or, you know, just, just day to day it's not that noticeable unless you're really listening for it. But don't think you can hide it around the back of a tank and, um, you know, not hear it because it's very, very loud. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a fantastic air pump. It does a really, really good job. Um, remember, if you're going to install it, to get yourself some silicon airline instead of just standard plastic so that it doesn't degrade over time. And if you are going to have it below the water line, make sure you get yourself a non return valve just so that you don't end up getting any water inside your pump if you turn the power off. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope this. Help some guys make a good decision. Thanks.